Hello folks, back again. I wanted to talk about hybrid holsters a few months back because obviously it took me a while to make this video because well, I have a full-time job and all things like that. Um, someone sent me the video of the negligent, negligent discharge where the feller, feller, gentleman was reholstering and the leather bent got caught in the trigger and then ended up going pew. So I wanted to talk about that because everyone sent it to me. Obviously, I'm a fan of hybrid holsters. But a holster, just like your gun, is a piece of equipment. That means that you need to regularly check your equipment for function tests. Just like with an Al-Qaedex holster, you can lose retention. You have, you know, the leather can get softer, the leather can bend. There's different things that you need to look for. A hybrid holster is not a bad holster because somebody had an ND with it. That person had an ND because he was running with a holster that he should not have been using anymore. If the leather is that soft that it completely bunches and pulls your trigger, that leather is no longer stable for your holster. It's the same as if, you know, you're supposed to watch, or I personally, you know, was taught, you watch as you reholster. This helps you keep fabric out of the way, because if you get fabric in the trigger as you're reholstering, that also can pull it and everything like that. So... This was my original holster. I ran it for three lovely years. I performed regular function tests on it where I would turn it upside down with an empty gun and everything and make sure that it was still functioning. I did have a issue where the retention was lost with the Kydex. I sent it back to Crossbreed. They reformed it back up, sent it to me and I got an extra year and a half out of it. Um, that, you know, holsters have warranties, those crossbreed does, um, and it's a piece of equipment. So at the end of the day, it is a piece of equipment that you need to function test. I personally decided to go with a new one because I was starting to have this kind of bend a little bit as I holster, reholstered. And as soon as I noticed that, I just said, you know, I'd feel more comfortable if I didn't have that anymore. So. Let's get our empty gun. We have empty magazine, unloaded weapon. So, first thing when you function test, noticeable click. Okay, noticeably clicked. Okay, so that Kydex is still great on it. This holster could still ideally be run. I just chose not to because I felt like the leather was getting a little soft for my taste so I decided it was time for a new one so new one noticeable click retention leather clip is in place a holster is a piece of equipment just like you check your gun for any kind of issues as far as you know double checking the trigger the mag release function testing making sure your ammo is good things like that your holster is also a piece of equipment equipment goes bad equipment gets used equipment gets broken you have to test it so yes a person with a hybrid holster did ND but it was his fault at the end of the day if his equipment was up to the par it should be for carrying and use it's not going to be a problem there I said it <clears throat> and several other of you who sent me the video ended up saying after the fact you know you're right like you just should check your equipment that's what led to this video so there is not a problem with hybrid holsters where if you think they're comfortable i love crossbreed you guys all know that like hi crossbreed so hi crossbreed i love you um 
wear it. This for me is the most comfortable appendix holster. I love it so much. I personally just don't like the hard kydex in there. I get sweaty. I get hot with the leather. I don't have that issue. There's different kinds of hybrid holsters. There's not all leather. There's different options. So as I've said before, you need to find what works for you. It's not a one size fits all when it comes to holsters and you have to be comfortable with what you're carrying. At the end of the day, if you are not comfortable with your setup, you're not going to carry. I personally am super comfortable with this. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's super comfortable. I love their product. I love their company. I love everything about it. But it's not for everybody. You know, some people have to go with belly bands all day, all the time because they prefer that. They don't want to wear a belt. They wear yoga pants. I'm not big into athleisure. I'd much rather wear shorts and a belt every day. So I do. But at the end of the day, there is nothing wrong with a hybrid holster. Anyways, there's my rant of the day, I guess. I'm not even going to call this an educational video because it's really just a rant about be smart, check your equipment, function test your stuff, like, don't be dumb. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Um, hope you enjoy. I'm trying to be more consistent with videos for you guys. It is summer. It is kind of hot when we record, when I record, because gotta keep the door closed, you know, can't have the fan running on high, so doing the best I can but if you guys have any requests for anything specific comment send me a message on Instagram whatever and if you're a graphic designer and you want to work with me let me know because I'm trying to rebuild the blog but I need some help with logoing and stuff like that and I am terrible at that so anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed okay bye